the first version of the modern internet came into existence in 1983, and since its inception has grown from a small communications network into a massive global cyberspace. So much so, that now over two-thirds of the entire world's population uses it every single day. So much content is uploaded online that the overall depth of information is staggering and in all honesty, quite difficult to wrap your head around. In fact, statistics show that there is close to 75 billion zettabytes worth of data to be viewed online, and that's just what we know of. And with one zettabyte being equal to a billion terabytes, it's hard to even imagine how many videos, images, and documents are actually out there, most of which we'll never get to see. That notion is especially true for those of us who stray no further than the so-called surface web. At the surface is where the majority of us do our browsing, watching videos like you are right now, using social media sites like Facebook and Instagram, and when searching for news and information through sites such as Google, Bing, and Wikipedia. Despite attracting billions of users and trillions of views, this surface level only makes up for about 5% of the overall World Wide Web. Today, we'll be taking a look into the deep and dark web, and more specifically, the urban legend of Mariana's Web, long said to be one of the darkest corners of the already shadowy dark web. But is it actually even real? And if so, what could it possibly contain? Let's take a look into the deep rabbit hole of Mariana's Web. This content is made possible by sponsors like today's Factor. Factor is a fresh, never frozen meal service that prepares and ships quality foods right to your doorstep. They focus on wholesome, healthy eating with flexible plans offering calorie smart, vegetarian, and even vegan options. Making sure I get proper nutrients through my food has always been something I've struggled with, often eating something convenient and skipping most meals altogether. So making sure that I have both good quality and quantity of foods whenever I'd like through Factor has been really nice. They also allow for easy changes to your subscription if you know that you want more or less meals a week, or if you are just going to be out of town entirely to skip one. If you'd like to give them a try, head to go.factor75.com slash chill120 and use code CHILL120 to get $120 off. Once again, that's CHILL120. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video and making this content possible. Now, let's explore Mariana's Web. Deep and Dark Web Even if you've never accessed it, you've most likely heard of the Deep Web or the Dark Web, where an overwhelming majority of online information resides. This includes paywalled sites, private databases, and stuff that isn't indexed by search engines. Most of the deep web is legitimate and non-criminal in nature, consisting of things like email and chat messages, bank statements, medical records, and government resources. The dark web, as its name suggests, is a smaller part of the deep web associated with more illicit activity, probably because of its secretive nature. However, it should be pointed out that perfectly legal services and information can be found here as well. Unlike the surface or deep web, the dark web cannot be accessed through conventional browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox. Instead, a specific browser, most notably Tor, uses a random path of encrypted servers to connect to it. The idea is that the user's actions cannot then be tracked, and their browser history will not be exposed. This anonymity is why an early version of Tor was created to hide spy communications, as well as why it was once considered the province of hackers, law enforcement officers, and cybercriminals. Nowadays, anyone can download Tor free of charge and access the dark web, though most of us would never have reason to other than out of a kind of morbid curiosity. Mariana's Web Origins When explaining the depths of the internet, a common analogy used is that of an iceberg in the ocean. What most of us see is the surface of the iceberg that floats above the waterline. The deep web is the majority of the iceberg that is submerged underwater. The dark web 
is the bottom tip of the iceberg, which most of us will never see. But what if we were to ask the question, what lies beneath the iceberg itself? Well, the common term that has been thrown around for quite some time is Mariana's Web. This name alluding to its real-life counterpart of Mariana's Trench, the deepest place on Earth. Only ever being visited by two human explorers, there is still much uncertainty as to what lies at the bottom of the trench, being 11 kilometers deep. Mariana's Web has long been named as the most mysterious and dark corner of the deep web, but for all it is talked about as this strange, desolate place, there isn't much information on what it actually is, other than what we are given in its name. So what actually is Mariana's Web? What are its origins, and is it actually even real? In September of 2011, an infographic was posted to Imgur.com that included the first mention of Mariana's Web. Titled The Magic of the Internet, the poster detailed various levels of internet against the backdrop of an iceberg, starting off with level zero as the surface or quote-unquote common web, and progressing deeper all the way to the bottom level five, being dubbed the Mariana's Web. In the infographic, its creator lists what can be found at each level, as well as how to access the various levels. Among credible information are a few eyebrow-raising bullet points, and clearly some attempts at crude humor. At the Mariana's Web section, a statement declares, all I know is that you need to solve quantum mechanics in order to view this on even the normal web, let alone closed servers. Quantum computation exists, and the government powers have them, so be careful what you do here. This part, along with the term polymeric falcogol derivation, is where major doubts start to creep in concerning the poster's claims. Quantum computers and polymeric falcogol derivation. Posited as a complex algorithm used for accessing Mariana's web, polymeric falcogol derivation does not appear to be a real thing. In fact, it has only ever been discussed in relation to Mariana's web and is a mathematical concept that has never been mentioned anywhere else. Now, you could make the case that since Mariana's web itself has supposedly been kept a secret until 2011, that the accompanying access programs would have been kept secret too. It is a fact that several websites need programs and settings much more advanced than Tor to be accessed. However, it makes the whole idea much harder to believe, and the term polymeric falcogol derivation has been discounted as nonsense by mathematicians. In terms of quantum computers, they do exist in very limited but increasing numbers around the world. But considering there were only 11 in 2018, there would have been significantly fewer, if any, in 2011. Of course, you could argue that they were hidden, and that their exclusivity lends itself to the myth. Some say that powerful government bodies and other organizations had quantum computers well before they became public knowledge. Others believe that Julian Assange had access to a quantum computer and that with it, he was able to access government databases and archives through Mariana's web, or a similar secret part of the deep web. With that information, he was able to establish WikiLeaks and distribute a load of sensitive material. However, as with many theories connected to Mariana's web, this is pure hearsay. There's no actual proof that Assange actually had access to a quantum computer, or the Mariana's web. It's much more likely that he received a lot of his information directly from whistleblowers and inside sources. Reddit slash 4chan. In the months following the iceberg infographics original upload, it was picked up by messaging forums like Reddit and 4chan. The term Mariana's web began trending intermittently over the next few years. The search for more information about this hidden treasure trove intensified. While many people were quick to call BS, with many going as far as to say that the original post mentioning it was an obvious troll, other people began to make claims that they had visited Mariana's web. What's more, some claimed that a quantum computer wasn't even needed to do so. One 4chan user explained, information on how to access this part of the web is very difficult to find. So a lot of people either don't believe it or believe in the wrong information about it. For example, the notion that you need a quantum computer to gain access to MW, you actually don't. 
The user then proceeded to offer step-by-step -step instructions and links to sites with titles such as classified information, broader engine plans, and death coil Tesla. Responses to the posts were mostly skeptical and asked for proof via screenshots, while others warned that it was just a group of hackers that will make your life miserable if you can act, and nobody was able to verify the original poster's claims with evidence. In another post, a user by the name Mr. Underscore Outlaw on Reddit posted of his experiences on Mariana's web. After breaking down firewalls, solving riddles, and cracking encryptions, he claims he was faced with a single question, written in Latin, what do you seek? Mr. Outlaw tried a few answers in the text box, such as the truth and enlightenment, but none of them were accepted. In a moment of inspiration, he typed, what also seeks me, and he was in. Mr. Outlaw claims that then a full screen of indecipherable links appeared. He clicked on them one by one, each link more disturbing than the last. He watched a video of a SWAT team trying to take down a humanoid creature with scaly skin. He found a document detailing a successful experiment called the Paragon Project, which delivered superhuman levels of strength and durability. More documents, essays about alternate dimensions, glitches in reality, Area 51, the Bermuda Triangle, and even the Holy Grail. Then a message popped up on screen and it asked if he was satisfied. He clicked no. Four links appeared on the screen, and he clicked on the first one. According to Mr. Outlaw, what then appeared on his screen was some kind of moving imagery, but nothing he could recognize or even comprehend. He believes it to have been a glimpse into another dimension, beyond our understanding. He lasted 20 seconds before he had to turn it off. In Mr. Outlaw's following post, he detailed a tale of men coming to take his computer, a murderer, secret meetings with spies, torture, and ultimately a return to some kind of normality. But obviously, all of this seems like some strange tale, and it's hard to believe any of what Mr. Outlaw said. Another story appeared on Reddit's no sleep message board, simply called Mariana's Web. User Zacharias Frost ends the lengthy post with the following. What if there is some artificial intelligence deep within the darkest depths of the internet? It does contain the vast majority of human knowledge after all, and who's to say what it could do with all that information? Ideas live forever on the internet, and so do programs. All it takes is one single file to align itself in the perfect way, and our world would never be the same. The world may never know the truth, but I'd be willing to bet it soon will. Perhaps the countdown has already begun, but don't worry, all of this is just a theory after all, and what do I know anyways, I'm just a computer program. Clearly a talented storyteller based on his post history, Zacharias Frost's tale, while likely made up, ties into one of the persistent theories surrounding Ariana's web, that it could be a super intelligent computer or robot system. As with other theories though, it remains just that, with no proof or evidence to back it up. Critical Response In August of 2013, a paper titled On the Cultural Power of the Mariana's Web Meme appeared online, written by Robert Gell. In it, the author writes, the infographic is a joke, specifically a troll, an attempt to see who bites and believes that there is such a thing as a Mariana's Web. He concludes his paper by suggesting that the Mariana's web is indeed real, but only in the sense that it becomes real through internet meme practices of imitation and transformation. In other words, life imitates art. During his research, Gal found that someone actually set up a Tor hidden service with the name Mariana's web, most likely cashing in on the hype surrounding the myth at the time. It turned out to just be a list of facts about cats, claiming that one must read all cat facts before entry to Mariana's web is approved. Skipping a cat fact will be noticed by the powers that be and your entry will be declined. Clearly, this was an extension of the meme as nobody ever got further and the tour service no longer exists. 
Gell also points out that myths matter to people and warns that conspiracy theories have real-world effects. But that was about it. In June of 2018, the infographic show on YouTube discussed multiple common rumors surrounding Mariana's web, such as it being a darker version of the dark web, the idea that it was an advanced AI system, and that it contains a database of X-Files like the Vatican's secret archives. Plus, they spoke of the quantum computer and polymeric falcogal derivation needed to access it. They also raised the possibility that Mariana's web was fabricated by hackers who were being blackmailed by the FBI. The reason? To distract attention away from FBI crackdowns on the dark web. As of now, the video has been viewed over 2.1 million times. The top comment with over 1.6 thousand upvotes is from Bonacos, who simply says, Mariana's web is more of a creepypasta than reality. A more insightful and thought-provoking comment underneath it comes from Samuel Thompson, who wrote, Any mathematician will tell you that the function slash algorithm you described is not real at all. Just a load of quantum woo. Even the access to the layer above that requiring a quote-unquote closed shell system is also an ironic joke, because all that term is just garbled computer jargon, when extrapolating the real terminology from it, it essentially means a computer that has no access to the internet. Beyond that, the idea that corporations and governments actually keep sensitive documents on any kind of internet is inherently silly. Almost anything confidential to large organizations is usually kept on an intranet, or more sensibly, offline altogether, for obvious security reasons. And I have to say, I definitely agree with this commenter. Ultimately, in their video, The Infographic Show noted that there is no concrete evidence that clearly proves or disproves its existence. Four years later, and over a decade since the appearance of the original iceberg image, Annoyingly, that still seems to be mostly the case. However, I do think that it makes more sense to lean on the side of caution, as the complete lack of hard evidence makes it quite hard to believe that there is anything real in association with Mariana's web. The most likely answer to the mystery and myth of Mariana's web is that it's just that, a myth, with a name created by a user with an act of imagination or simply just as a troll. I do think it's important to note though, that while the idea of Mariana's web existing on the deep web under its name is seemingly nothing more than a joke, the ideal of what Mariana's web represents is actually very real. As you go further down into the deep web, the links to sites that want to stay hidden do, and there is no real way to access the bulk of them unless the creator gives you a direct link. This is simply the reality of non-index websites. So while the urban legend of Mariana's web itself might not be real, the notion that there is a deep hidden layer to the dark web with who knows what on it is very possible. Mariana's web is an intriguing mystery because it plays on our fears of the unknown and sparks for a long lasting curiosity. From the start, we are told it's practically impossible to access, yet, the thought of an entry into an exclusive club with hidden secrets is too interesting for some to pass up. It's another potential adventure, and a reason for internet detectives to dive in head first. Or it could have been, had it been taken more seriously by the original poster, and not so widely been discredited. Perhaps that was intended though. The whole thing just being a joke that was never supposed to garner the attention and buzz that it did. What do you guys think though? Is there any chance that Mariana's web or an equivalent in printable actually exists? Or was it always just intended to be a joke with no real life basis? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate you considering subscribing to the channel as it really helps me out. If you want to get connected to the community, you can follow me on Twitter or join our community Discord. Thanks again for watching and have a good night.